Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a uh, Friday afternoon here in Jerusalem, about 4 p.m. Uh, given that this is the winter time, it is almost the start of Shabbat. Shabbat will start. Candle lighting comes in sometime after 5 p.m. here. So it's pretty early. Supermarkets have already been closed since approximately 2 o'clock, depending on the supermarket. So really at this time of winter in December in Jerusalem, you have to be an early bird. Uh, not only does the early bird catch the worm, but uh, if the bird, this, this analogy is really breaking down. If the bird doesn't wake up early enough in Jerusalem in the winter time, you can't even get your groceries done. So uh, it can be a little bit frustrating, I will not lie. Uh, but anyway, I'm going on a walk today towards the old city. I'm walking currently southbound on uh, Herbron Road and I'm going to check out a church built in 1930, which is passing the uh, Dan Boutique Hotel here on uh, Derek Lebron. And uh, I'm just going to take a few shots of the scenery coming up here on my left. is Startup City, named for Aran Margalit. This is one of the, I'd say, smaller startup complexes here in Jerusalem. There's a few different uh, high-tech companies and whatnot operating there, including our crowd which is a really interesting crowdsourced VC platform of sorts, investing in a lot of Israeli tech. And uh, just off to my right here is another way into Abu Tor, where I was uh, chased out of the village by Palestinian children uh, a few days ago. That was fun. So yeah, this is uh, Friday exploring here in Jerusalem. After five o'clock in Jerusalem is very difficult. Buses stop. The buses you'll see on the road now would be... Um, the Arab buses, which are blue and white and green and white, as I mentioned before. Going for a little walk today in the direction of the old city towards navigating on Google Maps here towards the Church of St. Peter in Galactu. Hope we've got that right. Built in uh, the 1930s, apparently. And as we're coming down towards the old city, getting these really, really nice views over East Jerusalem, Augustus Victoria. This is the Mount Zion Hotel. And uh, this is one of the more significant hotels in the city. Um, one of the victims of COVID, you can see the entrance is just all broken now. So we're going to go, this is a bus to Bethlehem. You can see it said on the front there, flashing checkpoint 300. Walking down now towards the old city, uh, we've just passed the Jerusalem Cinema Tech. And um, there's some, this is a venue where the Jerusalem municipality just below here, they sometimes do food trucks and other uh, public events little windy road down and as Shabbat approaches and uh, falls you start to, the tempo of the city changes pretty quickly from its weekday routine into the uh, Shabbat mode if you will and you'll start to see lots and lots of uh, religious and even ultra religious Jews making their way to um, the western wall in the old city which is only probably about 20 minutes walk from where I am here and um, Friday is also the um, religious day for Muslims, Yom al Juma. So Jerusalem is kind of a strange city from a weekend perspective because not only does Israel in general work on a Sunday to Thursday week, like many countries in the Middle East, but you have the fact that it's catering to the religious proclivities of uh, both Jews and Muslims, who for Jews, their religious day is Friday, Saturday, and for Muslims, it's, uh, it's Friday. So Thursday night, um, effectively is the weekend night here in Jerusalem and Saturday night uh, which is called in uh, Hebrew Motzash which is a contraction for Motzei Shabbat is also actually quite popular at the time when people go out even though technically there is work the next day um, stores will open for a few hours bars restaurants what have you after Shabbat so it kind of become like becomes a uh, sort of second weekend night almost Thank you. 